time, Lieutenant Steve Gibson in the Jacksonville Fire Department. Today's training video will be introduction to basic radio operations in the department's command vehicle. First thing we need to do, start the vehicle. The first thing we do, start the vehicle. As we do, you'll notice that the 800 megahertz EDAC system automatically powers up as soon as you start the vehicle. And the radio automatically will go to VF TAC 5. To change the channels, simply adjust the knob on the bottom under the volume control. That will change what channel that you can select and will talk on. The radio also features three buttons that are specifically programmed to certain channels. If you push this button, it automatically goes to McCutcheonville Training Channel. The second button automatically goes to Vandenberg County Dispatch. The other button automatically goes to TAC 5. Now let's move to the rear of the command vehicle. You will notice on the top shelf, we have three distinct radios. Vandenberg County 800 megahertz EDAC system. The state 800 megahertz system. The third radio, VHF, basically what we would call our mutual aid radio. Let's take all three radios individually. This is the Vandenberg County 800 megahertz EDAC system. It's identical to the radio that's in the front console next to the driver's seat. As you will see, same displays. They are slave radios, which means what you select here or select up front will show on both radios. Again, all, both radios have the three hot buttons that you can select McCutcheonville Training, Vandenberg County VF Dispatch, or Vandenberg County's Mutual Aid TAC-5 for McCutcheonville. The middle radio is the state 800 megahertz system. The bottom button will turn on the radio. This is very similar to the 800 megahertz state walkie-talkies that we have as far as selecting your different channels and what zone you want to be on. The third radio in the back of the command vehicle is what we would call our mutual aid radio. It's VHF and we can talk to the different counties that we mutual aid with. For example, Gibson County, Warwick County, Spencer County. All those county frequencies are loaded into this radio. When you're running in a command mode, you often have to multitask. So you're monitoring different frequencies at the same time. What's nice about this vehicle with the three different radios, you can actually monitor three different frequencies at the same time. You can be monitoring the Vandenberg County 800 system. You can be monitoring the state 800 system. And you can monitor mutual aid frequencies. Now, like we talked about, you need to monitor multiple frequencies at the same time. What's nice, the way we have this set up, is on the 800 system, say we're monitoring McCutcheonville TAC-5, but we also want to monitor the VHF dispatch frequency from Vanderbilt County. That can be done on this radio. So there you're monitoring central dispatch, the dispatch frequency, and at the same time you can be monitoring McCutcheonville. That's basic radio communications from the McCutcheonville command vehicle. Thanks for watching.